Hello everyone, hello children. This time we're going to take unit six. Okay, it is about creatures big and small. So we're going to start unit six on page 86. Okay, this is a poetry reading. It is a poetry reading. What do you mean by poetry? Okay, let me explain it to you first. Poetry is a type of literature or artistic writing that attempts to steer a reader's imagination or emotions. Okay, so here, the poet himself does this by carefully choosing and arranging language for its meaning, sound, and rhythm. Like for example, some poems such as nursery rhymes are simple and humorous. You will find these kinds of poems, especially those for children, uh, they are simple and humorous. Okay, so let's start reading our poetry. Okay, so it is about creatures big and small. Okay, so we have here puff, puff, puff. Okay, what do you mean by puff? So we have here dragon, okay? We have a dragon here in this picture. Puff, okay, means it is a short, quick blast as of wind or breath blow out in clouds or sometimes make steam or smoke do this. So where the smoke comes from? From fire, of course, right? So here, dragons, huh, normally they, when they puff, comes out fire and from this fire, comes out smoke, right? So, okay, so let's start reading our poetry. So we have here, one puff, change the color, two puffs, three puffs, four, five puffs, Six puffs. You can't see me anymore. Again, puff. One puff, two puffs, three puffs, four, five puffs, six puffs. You can't see me anymore. Written by Liz Myers. Okay. Mm. Have you finished reading? Okay, so right here in this picture, you are going to, you, you can see the, the dragon. When this dragon doing pops, okay? One pop, two pops, three pops, four, five, until six pops. So here it, it is referred here, the writer or, or the poet that writes this poem is referring for a dragon when this dragon, this kind of animal doing its puff. Okay, so let's go to our next page 
Okay, let's proceed to the next page. And in here, we are going to answer the following exercises. Okay, let me see here. Okay, right here, title, puff. So we have exercise A. We are going to read the question here. What hides the dragon? What hides the dragon? Do you think one puff can hide the dragon? Oh, because the dragon, it's huge. Huge. So, do you think one puff can hide a dragon? Hmm. One puff, of course not. How about here, four puffs? Hmm. Eh? Can these puffs hide the dragon? Four puffs? No. Still no. How about six puffs? It's a lot. To hide a dragon. So that means hmm, six puffs. Very good. You're doing great. Okay. So below here, exercise B, we are going to draw lines to connect the words that rhyme. What do you mean by rhyme? Rhyme that ha, uh, that sounds the same. Okay, whatever uh, the spelling is, but it's the same like bat, cat, uh, mad, pad, sad, glad. Okay, we have hot, pot, and so on. So these words rhymes together. But right here, okay, we are going to draw the lines to connect the words that rhyme in here. Okay, so how about two? Hmm, two? Hmm. You, very good. Two, you. Hmm. C, me. Okay, more, four. Very good, you're doing great. Hmm. Are you done? Okay, children, let's proceed to exercise C. Okay, hmm. let's go up, up here. Okay, I did answer uh, exercise A and B. So what I need you to do is to think. Okay, what do you think? Okay, this part. Hmm. Exercise C. I would like you to answer the following questions or exercises. Okay, so we have one, two, and three. So we have question one, and then we have exercise two and three. Okay, this is going to be hmm, your homework, and I need you to answer this exercise so for example where do the paths come from so do you think it comes from the wind it comes from the dragon's breath or it comes from a fire okay so day number two when you learn the poem and say it aloud with a partner so this part you can learn it with your family members. Okay. Number three, we have now think of a different line to end the poem. So here, you're going to use your brain. Okay. So think of a different line to end the poem. So here, we need to end the poem. So you're going to do the last word 
must rhyme with for. For. Okay? So the last word must rhyme with for. Did you get it, children? Okay, so that's it then. Goodbye and stay safe.